So now you're ready to start designing your course using the ABC Learner Design method. And this here under the tasks table is your digital storyboard. So in this first view here, ABC Learning Design, we've got um, th three topics and you can start adding cards as, as you would in a face-to-face -face ABC Learning Design session around a big um, piece of paper where you would start organizing the cards uh, either by topic or week. This is where you will start doing it in Airtable. So first of all, um, I've added in my course ILOs and topics in the table up here. And this is a course on making tea. So these are my ILOs. I want to identify what tea is, discuss any common cultural expectations around tea and how to make a cup of tea. And these are my list of topics. So I'm gonna start with a history of tea, the cultural context of tea, and, and then how to make a brew. So first of all, um, I think it'd be quite useful to have a video on where tea comes from. So in order to do that, I click on this add a new record and it's this plus button here and I can add a title. I'm just going to call it where does tea come from? And in the vid in the content I'm going to add as much information as possible so I'm thinking this is going to be a video uh, from YouTube that I am aware of so this is um, according to the ABC learning types is an acquisition so I'm going to select that down here under the hidden fields don't worry too much about that at the moment and then you can click on the exit button up here so you've created yourself a card and within the topic then with these cards you can either drag them from topic to topic if you feel like it's actually it should be in another topic or you can start arranging them in your topic so if you feel like that should actually come first then you can move that to the top so in the same way that you would do the face-to-face ABC Learning Design session, you would do that using this ABC Learning Design view in Airtable. Every time that you add a record or a card um, to this view, it will automatically get added to the list of activities. So this list of activities view is similar to um, an Excel spreadsheet. But you don't need to worry too much at the moment about um, the blanks. You can come back and fill them in 